Okay, it's Coach Summer here. And it's heading into the weekend. I just got thinking about how many individuals tell me they struggle with their fitness and nutrition when it comes to the weekend, that they've made so much progress. And then suddenly Monday comes around and they're like, oh my gosh, the weekend just derailed my whole progress. So I wanted to share a few tips with you as we're heading into the weekend, or if you watch this later to prepare for the next weekend or recovering from a weekend on some fitness and nutrition tips to keep you on track so that you don't derail all the progress you've made during the week. So one thing is to just set some rules for the weekend that you do for the week, okay? And just treat the weekend days the same as you do Monday through Friday. So if you're really successful Monday through Friday, then we need to change our mindset to do the exact same things on the weekend. So that might mean getting up at the same you know, time each day and going to bed at the same time, even on the weekends, okay? I know for me personally and for some of my clients, and you hear the plane coming overhead, hey, I had to come outside today, it's fall, we don't get a lot of sunny days in Ohio, so I wanted to enjoy the sunshine. Um, but I know for me and a lot of my, my clients, hey there, Megan, that sometimes we just fall out of habit on the weekend. It's like this thing that we're like, okay, it's weekend, party, everything's off, forget everything I know. So for me, I will find that I'm not in the habit of sometimes drinking my water jug. So I've had to make that a rule that, okay, Summer, fill your water jug and make sure you keep drinking lots of water all weekend long. Because sometimes I'll fall my, find myself falling into the habit of something as silly as not filling up my water jug and then I just don't get as much water in and I start to feel dehydrated or I even get hungrier and it makes me want to eat you know other things so you know get get your water whatever it may be and make sure you keep drinking it okay um, you know if you allow yourself to have you know alcohol on the weekend just limit it try to set the same rules for the weekend as you do the week so that you're not Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, finally struggling again to get back on track. So, you know, drink lots of water, have it with you, and set those rules. Um, Food-wise, some of us, you know, we want to, you know, enjoy other things. And like I said, we have that mentality. It's like, oh, it's the weekend, I'm gonna eat whatever I want. So again, you gotta tell yourself, it's just another day on the weekend, set the same rules. So I like to keep on hand all the time little you know simple things that i can grab if i'm on the go okay so like here's here's my peppers here um sugar snap peas are another fun little snack and my whole family loves these too um the bagged vegetables and hey if you need dip use dip just use something that's not got a lot of sugar or a lot of unhealthy fat so avocados mash those up make a dip um, bolt house dressings are great so you know I like to have a lot of veggies on hand to snack because I know I'm a snacker and so if you're a snacker make sure you have those foods available um, pistachios are a nice little snack to have with you too so if you're on the go like I did this the other day I hopped in the car and I had some sugar snap peas and pistachios because I know they can stay in the car it's not gonna hurt them and so I've got some healthy fats and protein along with my vegetables ready to go so you know just be prepared or you know choose a protein bar to have with you now a caution make sure that your protein bar is a good clean version and not just a candy bar with protein so you want to read the label and check it out uh, this is a new one that I like that that's that's pretty good choice so if you don't have access you know to food take a protein bar with you because some of the clients I work with talk to me and tell me that they find themselves on the weekend running around even more like crazy and they either forget to eat or they don't have you know food with them or they didn't go shopping so that's why I wanted to show you grab some of these things these little things have them available to at least have as snacks in between because again I want you to try to think of and have the mindset that you know Friday night, Saturday, Sunday are no week, no different on the weekend for the same rules that you set during the week. Because if you can adapt that and kind of change your thinking, like, okay, I need to drink my water, I need to eat my clean, fresh foods, and stay on track with that as much as possible, then guess what? 
When Monday comes around, you're not going to go, oh my gosh, I feel like crap. I'm all swollen. I ate too much salt. My rings don't fit. You know, I'm puffy. Don't want to get on the scale because you blew it all weekend. Okay, so I know you can do it. You just got to change your mentality. And so the same thing goes for exercise. And I preach this to my clients all the time. You have to set a 10 minute daily rule. Okay, so it's a rule that you do 10 minutes of activity every day, okay? So, you know, if you typically work out Monday through Friday and you're like, oh, I take the weekend off, okay, that's fine, that's great. Don't go to the gym or don't do a workout on the weekend because, you know, you've got family, you've got other things going on, but do 10 minutes, okay? Do 10 minutes. Now, going for walks are great. We go for hikes on Sundays. That's like our, our family thing, especially in the fall when, it, when it's nice like this out. But, you know, if, if you sit on the couch and you don't get up and get active, guess what's happening? Makes it a lot harder on Monday to get going. So you wanna keep the momentum going. So by doing 10 minutes, it primes your mind and your body to hit the gym on Monday or to hit your workout on Monday and keep going instead of Monday feeling like, oh, I feel like crap and I can't get going. Does that make sense? So instead of taking Saturday and Sunday completely off, set a 10 minute rule. Now you could you know, stand up and do some trunk rotations. You can do some jumping jacks. You can do some push-ups against the wall, some squats. It doesn't matter, but when you do that 10 minutes of activity, it sends all kinds of hormones and endorphins throughout your body, feel good hormones that makes you say, okay, I can do this. And so that way you're not gonna be sluggish come Monday. Okay, is this, this making sense? It's pretty simple stuff. If you can just implement this on Saturday and Sunday and keep going, because like I said, most of the people I work with, most of the clients I work with, and I've been there too, struggle with the weekends, okay? So, you know, all the rules aren't off on the weekend. Absolutely, enjoy your weekend, have fun. And if this is sounded familiar to you, get, give me a like here and let me know. The weekends, though, we don't need to throw everything out the window, okay? So just adapt those small little steps. So again, having fresh foods available with you, different snacks, make sure you're drinking lots of water if that's something you do during the week already. And if you don't, start doing it. Have it available to you, okay? And apply that rule that you have to do 10 minutes of activity. Don't sit on the couch to rest and recover from the week or to recover from your workouts from that matter. Cause you know what happens when you sit, you just get stiffer and it's harder to get going. So we want you to keep that momentum. We want you to keep going. We want you to feel good. And so as silly as it sounds, doing 10 minutes every day, especially on Saturday and Sunday, if you typically take those days off, it's gonna make it a hundred times easier for you to get back to your workout on Monday and you're gonna enjoy it and it won't feel like a chore, okay? And so if you keep drinking that water, eating those fresh foods, do at least 10 minutes of staying active on the weekend, guess what? You're probably not gonna see that weekend weight gain or that big rebound come Monday. And that's why so many people, they're like, oh my gosh, I do great. Well, here's a little trick for you too. Weigh yourself on Monday, weigh yourself on Friday, just to see how are your habits affecting your good fitness and nutrition choices, okay? So track it and see. Now I don't like people to become scale junkies, okay? Because again, if you drink a lot of water, you can weigh eight pounds different from morning to night. Doesn't mean you gained weight, it's just water weight. But it might help you, it might be a little bit of an indicator that if you're seeing better progress during the week, then you really need to be aware that the weekends are kind of ditching things for you, right? Or kind of put, putting a big stall on your progress. And so that might just be a wake up call for you to track it, to say, okay, I weighed myself on Friday, I'm weighing myself on Monday, oh my gosh, I gained six pounds, okay? Then maybe on Monday, when you weigh yourself that following Friday, you lost three pounds. So that's telling you, you know what to do, right? That you're making progress during the week and you know what to do. So let's use our weekends 
to have some enjoyment, but catapult us to the next level of meeting our fitness and nutrition goals, okay? So don't let your weekends derail your progress, all right? And I know it can be hard because you, sometimes you're lacking support. You have a lot of social events, right? We have family things going on, parties to go to. And so if that's happening, that's where you need support. So if there's any way that I could help you, send me a message, send me a message. I'll even post a couple things in the links below in the comments below that, you know, I, I want you to get more active. I want you to feel good. I want you to enjoy your life. I want you to create the body and the life of your dreams, but I don't want you to throw it all the week, all out the window on the weekend. So then Monday rolls around and, and you're in that same hamster wheel. Okay. So if there's any way I can help you send me a message, okay, or check the comments below, I'll post a few things in there, give you some free tips, um, some free workouts you can do, because you just need a plan. And so hopefully today, I gave you a plan that you can use this upcoming weekend, or learn from your weekends, right, and go forward. So if you're just catching the end of this, please go back and watch at the beginning. You know, comment below, let me know if any of these tips you found helpful. Give it a like if you found it helpful, because I'm telling you what, you can make more progress so don't let the weekends derail you. Enjoy them, but enjoy them responsibly, right? All right, I'll talk with you soon. Have a great one.